But, you know, one thing that I have done is uh, 2015 Bowman Draft. Some do a half case or now of that. 2015 Bowman Draft Baseball Hobby Half Case number 14. All right. Let's get, let, let's get to work. Oh, really? Like the, the sample or something? Like the... What is that? There's like some strings playing in the background. Woke up this morning. You got yourself a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the other half of the case. You've never seen Breaking Bad? That's a pretty awesome show. Yeah, I've never seen The Sopranos. I've never seen the the Godfather movies, which is kind of funny because I I do enjoy the uh, like the gangster movies. <laughs> I grew up in or I grew up in Eastern Oregon. I don't need to to watch a show about meth. You just look outside. <laughs> All right. And as always, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abe. Now, just curious what a filler would look like for Origins. Mm. Not cheap, I'll tell you that. Let me see where it's here. It is. See how many people are watching. I got nine people watching. Boom, boom, shake the broom room. I don't even, I don't think I've ever heard that song before. Wait, can I open these like super easy style? This is tops. Oh yes, I can. Should I start should I watch? Like should I like should I even bother getting into the Sopranos? I actually I I kinda wanna rewatch Game of Thrones. Before the last season comes out. Dude, Eminem. If I do a filler for it, bro. For Origins number six. Which is 15 spots. It would be $67, bro. $67 a spot. And, I, and, and it's 15 spots total. And I only have... I have six people watching right now. Not including the, the two over on, uh, on Breakers. So eight total. Game of Thrones, best show ever? Dude, ever? Dang, that is, that is quite the statement. Oh, I was going to say The Wire is pretty up there for me. As, especially since both are on a, were on HBO or are on HBO or whatever. You know, Ryan, I like The Wire up until they started going over to the docks. That's when stuff was just getting really just whack for me.
The Wire is a really good show, man. It's a really, it's a great show, actually. I really enjoyed The Wire. But again, I, I didn't like, uh, I want to say it was like season four or five. When they started like going over to the docks and it, it was just, it just got, you know, it was just, ugh. Never, never got into uh, Westworld, but I hear it's good. The Wire, it's, it's basically about uh, police officers trying to uh, to catch, you know, drug dealers and, and things like that, like in the act. And then you get like little dramas going in, in inside the, you know, The Wire 2. You got kids that are growing up, you know, selling drugs and they're still in school. So you see, you see some kids like grow up into a life of crime and then you see other kids that actually make it out of it and then you see other kids that like get into the drugs and and it's like you, you I don't know it's I can really I can't explain the wire like it's it's just really it's awesome it's 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 a great show anyways let's see what we got here I, I did a terrible job of, of explaining the wire just now. <laughs> All right, paper base does not ship in this. Everything else does. I used to watch The Walking Dead a lot too. I haven't seen anything from the new season. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I never, I never did get into Fear the Walking Dead. Big Greg, I, I mean, I never seen the Shield, so I don't know what you're um, comparing that to. Game of Thrones is great, Brave. I mean, if you're into like fantasy and, and dragons and sex and murder and and incest, lots of incest going on in, in Game of Thrones. That is the one thing I could do without. But, you know, that was a normal thing back in those days. I mean, I know it's fake, but like back in medieval times, incest and whatnot was actually fairly common. Even like even before medieval times, like during the Egyptian times and whatnot. Tutankhamen, uh, you know, Prince uh, King Tut was was born via, you know incest so like that that is the one thing that I that, that I that bothers me about Game of Thrones but you know it did happen back in the day Spartacus I, I never got into Spartacus but yeah that that I've seen clips of it because my mom's boyfriend like is on that so like I would I would like walk past or whatever and see him watching it in the living room. I'm like, damn, what is that? He's like Spartacus. I'm like, okay. It's pretty cool. You know, I would rather watch Z Nation than watch The Walking Dead at this point. Ooh, what is this? Walker Bueller! First Bowman for the Dodgers. That's nice. I think. It looks nice, that's for sure. Number one of twenty-five, too. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, wow. Yeah, Ryan is pretty pretty happy right now. The man says he's going fishing and he got something. Dude, I don't know what to tell you. You know when when you're hot, you're hot. You when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I don't know if you if you dude, I got more. I got I got freaking uh what's it called? 
I have Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo, 13 and 14 in the store. I know you like the baseball, Ryan. I don't know if you want to keep riding the wave. Immaculate Baseball, also in the store. But, I mean, we're, we're both on fire, Ryan. Not, not just me, but you too, dog. A little gold here for Austin Meadows. That looks nice, too, with the Pirates colors. Pretty cool. 15 of 50. Decent. No. Jumbo Chrome is, is not cheap. Is not cheap. Just like you say. Is not cheap. Dang it. Bro, I can't get that plastic love song out of my head, bro. What is the Bueller, Brave? I mean, the card looks pretty good, man. I don't see, I don't see any dings on the corners, really. The centering is you know, could be a little bit better. I think this could get an eight five a nine. I don't know, just just based on the the little bit of grading I learned at the national from people that actually do the grading. Uh, I got to pick brains a little bit at the national. So I, I kind of know what to look for with the uh, with the gradings and stuff. Only worth grading if it's like a 9.5 or a 10, Brave. No, just just looking at it what would what would you grade it I don't know it looks nice it's a thousand dollar yeah that's what I'm talking that's what I'm talking to uh, Ryan with the other Ryan over on uh, on breakers he's telling me if it grades out it's probably a couple grand so there you go, Ryan. Hopefully you get something nice on that. Dang, Ryan. Nice. Let's see if we can improve upon that. Wait, there was like multiple cards there. Okay.
uh, Jake Coronenworth for the Rays to four ninety nine. Yeah, man, it's 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 a little rough right now. Nice, a Ben and Tandy. Red Sox first Bowman autograph. Very nice. Yeah, but I, you know I'm expecting at least the the West Coast people to come in, Ryan. Benny biceps for the Red Sox. There you go, Ryan. That you 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 was on fire, dog. So this half of the case had the fire working in it, apparently. Brendan Rogers of the Rockies, he's on the box. So I guess that's nice. To two fifty. That's right, Kyle Tucker in the first half. Let's see if we can get some other hotness to come out of this. third box I mean Ryan I'm going to take a picture of the Ben and Tendi and the Bueller little uh, blast from the past there and the Harper dude just I got a lot of pictures to take tonight. A lot of pictures. Honestly, I need I need to be paying more attention to the to the social media. But once we get back to normal over here, and I don't have to worry about sorting breaks after the stream and blah blah blah, um, we'll get back to that social media. A 9.5 orange Bueller sold for 10.75 on the 26, which was like five days ago or four days ago. Oh, you already know, Ryan. You already know. I, that's another thing. Like, my Twitter game is very weak. But, uh, but I actually got talking to, uh, to watch the breaks. Really cool dude. Super down to earth. 
and and he gave me some great advice that I, that I haven't been able to follow through on it just because of how nuts things have been this month. Yeah, I feel like ever since we got back from the national, it's been nonstop work, like sixteen hour days, at least five days a week. It's it's like crazy. Yeah, exactly. We we lost half the team. Even though we're on good terms and you know they're they're doing things to better their lives, which is great, you know, more power to them, but it definitely definitely hurt us. But we're we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. Hopefully we can hire some more people. So, so Jason and I don't have to sort our own breaks anymore. Cause, dude, I, I, I can't. I don't remember the last time I had like a, a day off for real. I've, uh, I've been in the office literally every day since we've been back from the national. It's been, it's been crazy. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And yeah, we're, we're actually looking to cut the eBay breaks down even more. Want to get them to three a day. Once we do that, I'll start streaming uh, earlier too. Franklin Barreto of the A's to 4.99. Uh, I would like to start streaming by by three o'clock. You know, be live by three. Get some store breaks going. And then take a little a little pause a for the eBay stuff at five. Knock those out like in an hour and a half, and then go back to the store. So we got Chris Shaw to two fifty. Giants there. Watch me hit that Swanson. Oh, look, there he is. That's not what I meant. I meant the auto. Uh, 15 to 25, Tyler Stevenson, Reds. The Bowman initiation. Followed by another one, Ash Russell Royals. Some of these cards stick. For the Giants, Andrew Suarez, the first Bowman Auto. I don't know what, what, what he hit me for with the damn. I don't know if it was this, the Stevenson to 25 Bowman initiation deal. But uh, I, I just hit this Andrew Suarez of the Giants. I also pulled a Ben and Tandy first Bowman and a Walker Bueller to 25, one of 25 for the Dodgers. I don't know, you tell me. Y'all know my baseball knowledge is, is, is pretty much non existent without me having a curse. Now, the Stevenson's not an autograph, it's, it's just there.
ain't halfway there. Got another half to go. Three boxes left. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm gonna have to probably re-sign into that, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Check the store, see what I got going on real quick. Dang, Tomas, I've never, I've never, never heard of that. So just looking at the store, just, man, nothing really close to filling. Dang, Ryan, I think I might do the same, bro. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I got food here. I'm going to eat that. Didn't he do the same yesterday, Brave? Hit, like, all the autos in the case? Well, in the half case? Well, Ryan, I, I got to see what's, what's left on it. I, I don't know what it's looking like are you talking like the whole case in general like the whole case because they're you know i got a half case 13 and then half case 14 but i would have to add it all up and see what it's looking like and i could, I could do that after this break if you like ryan you want to knock out both halves all right Let me crush the rest of this, and then I'll put that together, and I'll let you know what uh, what it'll go for. <laughs> wow, right? I haven't heard anybody use that phrase since, like, middle school. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I want to ride your. I want to ride your streak here, man. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to ride your streak. Oh yeah. That's that's how I read it. Let's see what's in this uh, fourth box. Slowly getting up there. Slowly getting up there. For the Tigers, Bo Burrows, the first Bowman Auto. Not sure how hot that is or not. But 
There you go. Another one for Ryan. Ryan M, that is. Right, Eminem? <laughs> well, my boy actually wants to get some more baseball going. Pretty sure not a lot of people know we have Immaculate. So once the night's over, whenever that is, I'll, uh, I'll send an email so people know we got that we got that Immaculate baby. Dude, I'm listen. I've done I've done a twenty hour stream before. I'm all hopped up on this Nas energy drink right now. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be in the office for a while anyway, taking care of some things. So, dude, I would much rather spend my time breaking than uh, you know watching videos of, of stuff that I may or may not have, you know, be like, <sighs> I've been, I've, I've, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, yo, no lie, I'm in this office or in this building at least 12 hours a day, and that I'm not even exaggerating. 12 hours a day, 5 days a week, minimum. You know, on my days off, I'll spend like 8 or 10 hours sorting breaks and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you know, that, that's I was hoping for the West Coast people to start coming in. Because, dude, it's early, dude. It's 12.51 in the morning over here which is early early so the west the west coast folks should be coming in sometime soon so hopefully that room count can you know double up real quick Yeah, 10 o'clock, dude, that's hella early. At least by my standards. You know, I don't consider it late until it's like 4, 3, 4 in the morning. And even then, that's, that's, I'm, I'm just like you, Ryan, dude, I'm up. I'm up all night. And I sleep all day. Which is not healthy, apparently. But being healthy is overrated. What is Ryan? Uh, I forgot what I said. What I was talking about just now, too. Oh, you, you mean like sleeping during the day? I mean, so yeah, sleeping during the day and being up at night. Really. 
Interesting. Yeah, I don't like doing this, but you know, you got we, we right now. We just got to do what we got to do. Uh, but hopefully, once we can get a you know a nice strong sorting team, I'm gonna change my schedule around. Cause listen, I love my folks on the West Coast, man. But I will I would love to stream from like 2 p.m. 3 p.m. until like midnight, one. Two in the morning tops. That way I could actually do something with like my life. Aside from, you know, being in the office all day, every day. What happened, Tomas? Got a green Brian Mundell for the Rockies to 99. Dude, I, I, I'm hungry too. Oh, God. For the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan, another auto. This one to 250. Mmm, that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, salad. We got some color in this half for sure. This half was the fire half, apparently. Right, Ryan? Get out of my head. Damn, now you got me thinking about Taco Bell, dog. A Baja Blast with sour gummy worms and Doritos with nacho cheese. This guy. Munchies like a mother. I forgot you live in California and you could just go to like a freaking corner store or something and just pick up some edibles just like all all willy nilly all nonchalant dude one once that thing is cleared and good to go like nationwide florida is gonna be the east coast version of california like, oh my god, Miami is going to be ridiculous.
Yeah, Tomas. I could do the same, but then there might be repercussions. Honestly, dude, I'm 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 very carefree with mine. Like I like to think that I'm careful and, and whatnot, but dude, it'll be the middle of the day, and I'm you know I got my my windows down, and I'm just you know doing what I do in the middle of the day. And if you're you know if you're around me, you you you, you could definitely smell it. So you know I get a little antsy when I when I when I'm at a stop sign. Or, you know, just a red light or whatever. And I've never been to California. But when I do, I, I gotta pay homage to my boy in San Diego. Oh man, I miss Whataburger. I miss Whataburger. You know, Crystals is is a is a southern favorite. Crystals is is basically uh, White Castle for the South. Where, Tomas? I, dude, I'm yo, Tomas. Keep playing around, bro. I'm gonna show up one of these days. Uh, you just you're gonna hear a knock on the door, and you're gonna be like, "Get pin chip," and then you, you're just gonna hear, "Yo!" Yeah, I've never never heard of Brahms. I guess technically Oklahoma's part of the South, right? Technically. Oh, my favorite time of year is, is almost upon us. College football this weekend, pro football next weekend. And then a month from now, NBA basketball. Oh, yeah. All right. Dude, Tomas, you do that, dog? You know, I was considering making a GoFundMe, too, because, like, everybody does it. But, like, I'm just not that type of person. Like, I'm not that big of a fucking piece of crap to, you know, beg people for money. I'd rather work for it. Uh, but, dude, I, I was considering doing, like, a GoFundMe where, like, to pay off my student loans. And then once I'm done paying off my student loans, that GoFundMe... Like, I would like to do, like, a GoFundMe kind of deal where it's like, all right, you know, if everybody gives me a dollar, I'm going to I'm gonna separate, I'm going to put, like, $10 towards somebody else's GoFundMe, and then, like, you know, that way we help each other. Like, I don't know. I, I, whatever, whatever. Let me just shut up now. Last box mojo. Here we go. I really just want to get rid of my student debt, bro. That stuff is killing me. I'm working on it, though. I got, I got a five-year plan. But I would like to change that five-year plan to, like, a, a five-minute plan. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you know what I mean? I, I kind of want to have, like, a GoFundMe deal where it's like, all right, y'all, help me pay off my student loans. And then, you know what I'm saying? If, if you guys give me X amount of money, half of that I'm going to put towards giving it to other people's GoFundMes. So it's like you're helping me and I'm helping you. Like, I don't know. I, I got to work the kinks out on that. Nolan Watson of the Royals first Bowman. 11 of 25. The color was hiding here apparently. What or oh what could this last autograph be? I mean, I'm, dude, I'm greedy. I, I would like to see a one on one. We hit an orange auto. Let's let's see the 101. Oh dude, I'm I'm going I'm going to California for show. 
and and I'll I'll ask my mom if you could if you could sleep over. God, that's so fucking terrible. And, you know, we can sleep in my room, or I'll get us bunk beds. You know, that way we have room for activities. Grant uh, Hawken of the Indians. So four ninety nine. Yep, exactly, Tomas. Chancletas flying all over the place. Whatever she could get her hands on is gonna, you know, come dangerously close to the noggin. I hope you still haven't lost your dodging skills from like when you were a kid and you and then you had to dodge dodge the chancla. Where the heck is this last autograph? They call me Neo. <laughs> Come on. Last tag mojo. About to say, I don't. There's. Did I pass it? Nope. There it is. Tyler Stevenson, the first autograph for the Reds. There you go, Ryan G. You got one. There you go, my dude. Patience is a virtue, my friend. There you go, my dude. And that... Is gonna do it for the break. There you go, <laughs> brave. <laughs> Down goes Melton. Down goes Melton. All right, let's uh, do our recap here, shall we? So we have to twenty-five a uh, Tyler Stevenson for the Reds Bowman initiation. To four ninety-nine we got Grant Hawken, Indians. Kyle Crick, Giants. Jake Cronenworth, Rays, Franklin Barreto, A's. We got some color here. Start with the purples. We got Chris Shaw, the Giants, and Brandon Rogers of the Rockies. Both are to 250. I believe next on the totem pole is Diaz, the green. Brian Mundell to 99. Austin Meadows to 50. For the Pirates and an orange, eleven of twenty-five. Nolan Watson Royals. All right. Our autographs are Tyler Stevenson, of the Reds. Bo Burrows Tigers, Andrew Suarez Giants, Andrew Benintendi, for the Red Sox. Ryan Mountcastle of the Orioles, numbered eight out of two fifty, and Walker Bueller. Number one at a 25. And that was the break. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.